and everybody in here in the early 50s, 40s, they know Thurman Strong, Thurman, Thurman. Oh, yeah. So he said, Mr. Thurman said, the most dangerous black man is the educated black man. And he said that, you know how powerful he was. So if you are if you got an education, you're dangerous to them. You're very dangerous to them. And he said that. So you should take that to heart, that coming from a very prominent Republican, say that. So always remember what he said in the back of your mind. He said the most dangerous black man is an educated black man. Right. And he said that. Mm -hmm. So y'all take that from food for thought. He was a Dixiecrat, not a Republican. Yeah. yeah. So and he's not a Republican. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Some closing remarks from Pastor Dixon. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm going I'm to step right here mm -hmm. and start off first off by commenting on how wonderful the season has been. And uh, the, the underlying thread that's woven through all of this is the interconnectability, the necessity of all of us working together in order to make this happen. Melissa Brown, she touched on the need to uh, unbiased the work together, not focusing in on your own little agenda, but respecting the next person's agenda and working along with the Mui Jardin about the interconnectability of all of the organizational structures that have to come together before we can move forward. Dr. Seabrook, as he talked about the school board, that they, they, ain't nobody going to tell them, hey, enough is enough. But ain't no one person going to be able to do that. It's all about the unity. It's about that union that must come together. And in light of that, first off, I'm going to put in a couple of shameless plugs. Okay? <laughs> one is the fact that CAFE will be meeting next Monday evening at 7 o'clock p.m. right here. One of the places where that connectability that we're all talking about today can begin forming it. That's one of the places. Another will be on Friday, April 10th, right here meeting at 7 o'clock in the morning in order to go back over to MUSC to raise a collective voice against the ongoing discrimination that did not get better after 1969. And as a matter of fact, it's worse. Ain't no sense in us showing up at that board meeting every two months with the same usual suspects. Not when everybody that sits here, and more people here than are over there, saying, we need to do something. Well, if we need to do something, it's time to do something. Yes, sir. Okay. One of the times <coughs> we can do something is going to be on Friday the 10th at MUSC. We're going to meet here at 7 a.m. The board meeting starts at 8. And at 7.30, we're going to all ride over there get in place so we can at least raise a collective voice about the problems that are existing there. On the 13th, Dr. Seabrook, once again, we will be at the school board because we have a serious problem with the school board. My personal feelings, and I'll never try to push my feelings off on anybody, we need to clean house. They need to go. The citizenry need to come together and decide who to replace them with and once they get in there, we, the people, need to hold them accountable for what we place them there to do. So we'll be there 5 o'clock in the evening. We're going to try to fill up 75 Calhoun, fill that up and out into the streets. Signs, songs, whatever it takes in order for us to be heard because we've been ignored in the Charleston County School Board for far too long. That dog ain't gonna hunt no more in 2015. I know that's Now, I, 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 I say that, and especially focusing on 2015, because when I was asked to give these closing remarks, my mind first went to the fact that we're dealing with Fight for 15, which is going to be another opportunity for all of us to get involved. Yes. On April 15th, 4-15, Fight 4-15, in Atlanta, Georgia, is going to be one of the largest mass protests, protests, excuse me, protests, protests that this nation has seen, especially in recent history. While the fast food workers who have been organizing now for several years are bringing the fight to raise up minimum wage to $15 per hour in 2015, not incrementally between now and 2020, in 2015. And also for unionization 
of the fast food workers. Right. They're going to step to their business in Atlanta. And now you say you want to be involved? I'm just laying a line out of things for you to be involved in. Now I got to get to the paper. <laughs> Yo, please forgive me. But I had to at least put the challenge out there. Because if you're never challenged, you can avoid the situation. You can say, oh, I didn't know. Right now, nobody in here has that option of it. <laughs> no one. <laughs> All right. In the movie Selma, anybody seen the movie Selma? John Legend, he sang a song titled Glory. He did it along with a very gifted and talented man by the name of Common. Glory. The name of the song was Glory. Um, Grammy Award actually winning song, Glory. But it opened up after John Legend's song part, the chorus part, it opened up with Common saying these words. And I ain't no rapper, so don't even, look, don't even try it. <laughs>